Discovery documents are revealing more about the man accused of beheading another man in Kissimmee. That victim was found outside an auto shop in the spring, and in the weeks that followed, there were a lot of questions surrounding that gruesome crime. Today, Channel 9's Johnny Fernandez looked through those new documents, and Johnny, you also found out why it took so long for police to ID that victim. Yeah, Martha, the reason behind that is because police say that they actually uh, could not find the victim's ID and couldn't contact the victim's family. Now, that victim was found over the spring here along East Donegan Avenue. And today, the new documents for you that both the suspect and the victim were homeless and new discovery evidence re revealed a couple more details about them. The first time we heard about this story was back on March 14th, when Kissimmee police blocked off part of East Donegan Avenue because 63-year-old Domingo Sanchez had been found decapitated in front of an auto shop. Investigators would later say a nearby surveillance camera recorded the moment the accused killer, Angel Almeda Rivera, beat the victim with a piece of wood and a vacuum cleaner. Police say he also damaged several cars that night. When police questioned him two days later, Rivera told police he had problems with his mental health and couldn't remember the last few days. The next big piece of evidence would come while Rivera was in jail. This new incident report I obtained from the Osceola County Corrections Facilities says an inmate overheard Rivera telling another inmate in the dining hall that he was in jail for cutting a man's head off and stated, quote, he was going to start killing people and only God could get him out of jail this time. And as for a possible motive, investigators say they don't know. But new discovery I obtained in the case now tells us both men were homeless and both had criminal records. In fact, it was the victim's record that helped Kissimmee police identify him without his head. They ran his fingerprints and used his criminal record to notify his next of kin out of state. Now, I also found out that Rivera does have a criminal background up in Pennsylvania. Now, he is being charged with first degree murder, and he is expected to show up in court later this month. Reporting here in Osceola County, I'm Johnny Fernandez, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.